Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the Iranian Natanz nuclear facility. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. Nuclear Enrichment The Natanz nuclear facility was constructed for one purpose only, to enrich nuclear fuel. Because naturally occurring uranium doesn't have enough fission capabilities to create sustaining chain reaction of a fission reaction. You need to enrich the uranium with gas in order to make it viable, not just for nuclear weapons purposes, but also for nuclear power generation purposes. And so this nuclear facility was designed just for that. It contains thousands of centrifuges to enrich naturally occurring uranium to the point where they can be used as nuclear fuel for power generation or nuclear weapon detonation. And so this nuclear facility doesn't really have any warheads or missiles or anything of that sort. It's really just one step of the process to build either nuclear reactors or nuclear bombs. However, it is a sensitive area because it could go either way. All right, let's get into the next fact. Fact two. Covertly moved. The Natanz nuclear facility has a pretty interesting history. As you may know, the world is okay with nuclear power generation, it's not okay with countries trying to develop nuclear weapons. And so, in the beginning, there was an effort for the Iranians under the direction of the international atomic agencies to create nuclear power facilities. And in order to do so, they need to enrich uranium. However, this used to take place at a different location. The nuclear fuel enrichment process was originally at a Kalalei Electrical Company location. But because the Iranians want to use the nuclear fuel for something other than electric, they decided to move it to the Natanz nuclear facility that is a lot more remote and rural. However, when they moved it, even though they attempted to do it covertly, the secret was quickly spread out and people realized they have moved uranium enrichment activities to this remote location and potentially for nuclear weapons. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 3. Cyber attack. The Stuxnet. When the Iranians moved the nuclear enrichment facility into Natanz, it really alarmed everybody around the world, especially their enemy states, such as United States and Israel. And so the Israelis, in conjunction with the United States and many other Western countries, decided to hack the nuclear facility remotely using cyber attacks. They created a very sophisticated virus network with a lot of different cyber attack technologies and methods in order to infiltrate and destroy this nuclear facility. And it's incredible because they actually achieved it. Between 2006 to 2010, the Israeli and the US governments were able to fully infiltrate the nuclear facility and especially reprogramming the centrifuges to make them spin out of control. As they spin out of control, it really damaged the centrifuges that's enriching the uranium and even caused fire damage and other sort of damages at the facility. I think it's so incredible that a cyber attack could bring down a nuclear enrichment facility, as we've seen here. All right, let's get into the next fact, downscaled in 2015. In 2015, I guess through years of pressure from other nuclear states, such as France, United States, and so forth, they keep pressuring the Iranians to stop any sort of nuclear weapons program. And in 2015, the Iranians actually agree. They agree to downsize the Natanz nuclear facility and reduce the number of centrifuges that's in the facility to enrich uranium. However, they still had trouble letting inspectors through and it was quite challenging to really verify if they indeed destroy the centrifuges or not. On paper or on the surface, the Iranian authorities did agree to reduce the nuclear capacity 
in exchange for relief of sanctions. Because as you may seem from around the world, the first action from any other country to condemn its behavior is to use economic sanctions. And so the Iranians was really forced to give up or downsize their centrifuge operation in exchange for lifting the economic sanctions. All right, let's get the next and final fact. Relocate deep into the mountains. Despite what I said in the previous section that the Iranians agreed on the surface or in talks to reduce the enrichment capabilities at the Natanz facility, they continue to work on it. And actually, at the time of this video in 2023, it has been observed through satellite imagery and photographs that the Iranians are digging mountains. They're digging tunnels deep into mountains near the Natanz facility in order to really fortify and harden their nuclear enrichment facilities. They fully acknowledge that the nuclear facility is too easily penetrated via cyber attacks or other sorts of attacks and is constantly being attacked and sabotaged. So as a result, they've decided to locate the facility deep within mountain ranges within the Natanz area. And as a result, weapons experts from around the world have deduced that by the depth and how much they've dug into the mountains, there's no way any sort of weapon could actually penetrate it. In fact, any bunker buster or any kind of heavy weapons would not be able to hit this facility because the Iranians have built it so deep into the mountain that it is really impenetrable. All right, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.